Welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. And today I'm talking about dragon's wings. And um, I'm having a little trouble with dragon wings. Uh, but let's not talk about it. Let's find out why. Well, here you can have a quick sneak in my peek in my sketchbook while I find the page. I've been writing a story recently about dragons. Here we are, this is kind of thinking about it and doing little sketches, thinking about the cover. And now I've, I've finished the story and I've really got now to think about the cover. Um, and of course I need a dragon on the front. It's a particular type of dragon. It's the dragon that you'll find on the Welsh flag. Um, and once I started drawing, um, this is the, the character Harry here, this is the dragon. I keep drawing the dragon amongst other things, just kind of getting used to drawing dragons and drawing Harry and planning the story while I'm writing it, um, doing other stuff. I just keep doodling dragons, just getting into the spirit of drawing dragons. And then I suddenly I thought, wait a minute, these wings just don't seem right. I've got a problem with dragon wings suddenly. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna explain what the problem is. Dragons don't fit into the evolutionary uh, sort of scale. So you've got a kind of a body and, oh, my pencil's breaking. You've got a body and claws. And then you've got back legs and claws. And then the head. Mm -hmm. Just make him try and look a bit and a bit of a tail. Now the trouble is that you've got to put wings on here as well and this dragon has got four legs and what we usually do is, is this kind of bat wing but a bat wing is in fact um, a hand. It's an arm and you've got sort of the, the, the shoulder here and then here is the elbow and then this is the forearm and this is the kind of the wrist part, that is the thumb. And the that's the first, and, and in fact on a bat, the first and the second finger are fused together. And that's the third finger and the fourth finger, and then this kind of web in between them. But this is a hand, an arm. And when you're drawing over here, you've already got an arm. So it doesn't make sense. It's why angels and things like that always never quite look right. Um, so, in, you know, in fact, you want another arm growing out of here. But um, but when you look at, uh, you know, birds, uh, so, so you'd have kind of a, that would be the shoulder, and then that would be the hand, and then, so, oh, my pencil's broken. <laughs> Obviously been dropping, dropping it on the floor or something, I don't know what I've done. Um, and, and so you would get it something like that and uh, and again psh, the two three something something like that but but you see this requires a huge amount of sort of muscle around here um, and if you're drawing um, like a, a Welsh dragon has a very thin kind of body and it has these legs um, and th there's nowhere for the for the wings to, to for the muscles for the wings to attach here. You need a huge, great sort of swathe of muscles around here to keep the wings on. <laughs> so, um, so I've sort of come up with this idea, which you see is kind of quite heraldic. Um, so I'm kind of trying to work out how. Uh, let's get that up there. So I'm, what I'm trying to work out is that. Um, uh, it's going to be something, so it's, so it's kind of like that. It's a very snaky kind of body, the Welsh dragon. Um, and it's going to have legs. And so I, I'm trying to work out a way for it. I mean, I could just draw it and not worry about it, really. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get lots of letters from readers saying that doesn't look right. But this is a kind of heraldic device um, for a, a, a dragon's wing. Um, and then you will kind of see it, sort of the scaly pattern on the top on the other side, um, which I feel kind of works better on a, you know, an artistic kind of um, vein. 
it, it just kind of looks better but I can't get it to fold up um, so I still think I need a, a little either to have an elbow here and then a shoulder blade up there but we've already got a shoulder blade and everything for this front leg which gets it gets very confusing so now I'm wondering whether it can have some kind of folding device where it just kind of snaps in there and folds <laughs> It's it's not easy. So um, so uh, right at the moment, I don't have an answer for you. It'd be really interesting if if you have thoughts on dragon wings yourself. I know when I've done dragon drawings before, I have done a dragon, certain one dragon before. Um, I know people have very <laughs> very firm views on what a dragon should look like, um, but of course. You know the dragons can look like anything you want them to really but um but because people have ideas what they should look like then as an illustrator i really want to try and get it so that it looks right and that people will go yeah that's a dragon and uh, and he's got to fly that's an important part of the story uh he's actually going to have <laughs> a bit of fire as well so um so as 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 I progress with this dragon thing, then I will probably make more dragon videos, and I'm going to have a little playlist. I'll put a little playlist thing up here, so I'll have a dragon playlist, so you can see how I get on. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you've got ideas about dragons and dragon wings, let me know. I'd be really interested. Well, if you're as confused as I am and you still want to draw a dragon, have a look at this. How to draw a Chinese dragon video or take a chance with a mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. And why not visit my website, shootrainer.com. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'll see you next time, maybe with a finished dragon drawing. You take care now. Bye bye.